everybody. Bond serving Nathan David Sanders checking in. California, we made it back from Lubbock, Texas. I wish my tia could have went out there with us to proclaim the name of Jesus. She just moved out here from New Mexico, starting a better life in Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're out there indulging in alcohol, getting drunk, sniffing cocaine, smoking weed, sorcery, you need to surrender it all because you can't call yourself um, a God lover if you're out there indulging in all that. Yes, sin is sin, but he wants us to surrender all to him, every single bit of our sin. Amen. It may be hard, but Jesus can take care of everything. Yes, He's the he ultimate pain taker. Amen. My aunt right here is, uh, can testify to his word, how true he is. She's been delivered, fully delivered. So out there, everybody around this nation, let's pray for Afghanistan. Keep your Amen. brothers and sisters in Christ in prayer. Those that are stuck in bondage, they won't inherit the kingdom of heaven if they're holding on to that sin. Yes, Jesus Amen. washes us with the blood of Christ and forgives us of our sins, past, present, future. But if you're still out there smoking, getting drunk, doing cocaine, like I said, you got a whole other thing coming. Take inventory of your life. You can't be a Christ follower if you're out there and indulging. Like I said, I expressed it so much. Surrender your entire life to Jesus Christ because, folks, that rapture is coming and you don't want to be left behind because once you're left behind to get in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to have to be beheaded or persecuted for his name. So why wait till then? Today is the day of salvation. Again, my aunt can testify Amen. the hand of God through Christ Jesus. And um, everybody out there, please pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ, all those in Afghanistan that are hurting. We need to pray for the body of Christ. We're so divided right now. I love you, pastors out there. Amen. Thank you, Mike Ramos, Pastor Lawrence, everybody in Lubbock, Texas. Big shout out Amen. to my brother in Christ, Christian Garcia. Thank you to all my family that came out and showed your love and support. I know a lot of y'all couldn't make it, but next time, make that time, make that date, Amen. make those days off because it really means a lot to me and it strengthens my walk and it encourages me. And I need all the love and support I can because that devil don't want me out here doing these videos. No. Just before we try to do this video, he was he was in the mix. He was already trying to stop it. Amen. But the Lord rebuke you, devil, in the mighty name of Jesus. And um, yeah. it just helps me with my walk, like I said. And uh, um, Again, he don't want me out here making these videos. He wants to take me out right now. He's out there to kill, destroy, and deceive, and devour. Yeah. And um, my aunt just wants to say a few things. She wants to lift up the entire family back home, especially my cousin Marianne. Yes, and let him know, Theo, what's going on and what you got going for Jesus Christ. Amen. I wanted to testify because it's been a month that I am cigarette-free. Woohoo! And the Amen. Lord is still helping me. Every single day. This is this is what's helping me, but the most that's helping me is the Lord. Yep, so we call that the patch of Jesus. Restore restoring her life, restoring every single thing. We don't live a perfect life. And hold those tears because he holds all every tear in the bottle here. <laughs> Keep that smile. And everybody out there, if she can do it, if I can do it through Christ Jesus, yes. so can y'all. We are living Amen. in those last days. Amen. I made this video to really stand firm and, and tell the truth. Um, we can't be out there smoking weed. We can't be out there sinning. Yeah, we have those natural uh, things that happen, our lust, our anger, our cussing, our lying. But he wants us to run from what's holding us down. Um, from entering his kingdom and building a strong relationship with him. So it's time to surrender. If you don't believe me, get on your knees, cry out, call out to him, go to your nearest church, hit that altar call with your hands up, and surrender every single thing in your life because you won't be blessed. And that's not why we come to the Lord. We come to the Lord because we're filthy sinners saved by his grace who needs a Savior. Mary needed a Savior. So, you know, with that said, I encourage all you out there that are doing the will of the Lord, uh, keep doing, keep your brothers and sisters in Christ in prayer that are traveling right now as we speak. Big shout out to um, Prayer Made Ministries, um, Kingdom Music Ministries, Day by Day Ministries. Please keep Paul Marilla in your thoughts and prayers. We got a few shows coming up for Jesus' name and only his name. Again, this ain't for likes or for man to see. It goes to show you that God can change your life. He took me from a filthy drug dealer, filthy wannabe gangster, turned Godster. Amen. Just every single thing, and I surrendered all my Amen. life. It hasn't been an easy walk. If it was easy, we would all know God. Yes. So please keep us in your thoughts and prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.